A Rueful Lamentation Read for LibriVox.org By Algie Pug Perth, Western Australia On New Year's Day, 2012 A Rueful Lamentation Written by Mr. Thomas Moore in his youth Of the death of Queen Elizabeth Mother to King Henry the Eighth Wife to King Henry the Seventh and eldest daughter to King Edward the Fourth, which Queen Elizabeth died in childbed in February of the year of our Lord fifteen o three, and in the eighteenth year of the reign of King Henry the Seventh. O ye that put your trust and confidence in worldly joy and frail prosperity, that so live here as ye should never hence, remember death and look here upon me, in sample I think there may no better be. Yourself what well that in this realm was I, your queen but late, and lo, now here I lie. Was I not born of old worthy lineage? Was not my mother queen, my father king? Was not I a king's fair in marriage? Had I not plenty of every pleasant thing? Merciful God, this is a strange reckoning. Riches, honour, wealth, and ancestry hath me forsaken, and lo now here i lie if worship might have kept me i had not gone if wit might have me saved i needed not fear if money might have holp i lacked none but o oh, good god what vaileth all this gear when death is come thy mighty messenger obey we must there is no remedy me hath he summoned and lo now here i lie Yet was I late promised otherwise, this year to live in wealth and delice. Lo, whereto cometh thy blandishing promise, O false astrology and divinatrice, of God's secrets making thyself so wise. How true is for this year thy prophecy, the year yet lasteth, and lo, now here I lie. O brittle wealth, I full of bitterness, thy single pleasure doubled is with pain account my sorrow first and my distress in sundry wise and reckon there again the joy that i have had and i dare sain for all my honour endured yet have i more woe than wealth and lo now here i lie where are our castles now where are our towers goodly richmond soon art thou gone from me at Westminster, that costly work of yours, mine own dear Lord, now shall I never see. Almighty God, vouchsafe to grant that ye, for you and your children well may edify. My palace builded is, and lo, now here I lie. Adieu, mine own dear spouse, my worthy Lord, the faithful love that did us both combine in marriage and peaceable concord into your hands here i clean resign to be bestowed upon your children and mine erst were you father and now must you supply the mother's part also for lo now here i lie farewell my daughter lady margaret god what full oft it greed hath my mind that ye should go where we should seldom meet now am I gone, and left you behind, O mortal folk that we be very blind, That we least fear, full oft it is most nigh, From you depart I first, and lo, now here I lie. Farewell, madam, my lord's worthy mother, Comfort your son, and be you of good cheer, Take all a worth, for it will be none other. Farewell, my daughter Catherine, late the fair, to Prince Arthur, mine own child so dear, it booteth not for me to weep or cry. Pray for my soul, for lo, now here I lie. Adieu, Lord Henry, my loving son, adieu, our Lord increase your honour and estate. Adieu, my daughter Mary, bright of hue, God make you virtuous, wise, and fortunate. Adieu, sweet heart, my little daughter Kate, thou shalt, sweet babe, such is thy destiny, thy mother never know, for lo, now here I lie. Lady Cicely, Anne, and Catherine, farewell, my well-beloved sisters three. O oh, Lady Bridget, other sister mine, lo, here the end of worldly vanity, now well are ye that earthly folly flee, 
and heavenly things love and magnify farewell and pray for me for lo now here i lie adieu my lords adieu my ladies all adieu my faithful servants every chun adieu my commons whom i never shall see in this world wherefore to thee alone immortal god verily three and one i me command thy infinite mercy show to thy servant for lo now here i lie end of poem this recording is in the public domain